be the plan, that's what they call me. I promise that. Come on, walk up. Come on. Good, y'all. Y'all see my the projector. He's watching the game. We just got back in the house. Um, if y'all saw in the last clip, we was out at Walmart and they had the um 99.3, 92.1 Kiss FM um toy drive, right, babe? So Journey picked the toy out in Walmart and gave it away um for the donation so it was kind of cute um i hope you guys saw that this morning we went to cracker barrel and we also went to go throw that in trash and then we also went to uh food line as well um now i'm in the house ready to tackle this house up because y'all it looks very depressing in here um I'm tired as usual. I really want to go and take a nap, but I'm going to try to get some fire under my behind and get some things done. Nah. I do a refresher, but not no coffee and make my stomach hurt. He asked me, did I want to go to Starbucks? But um now i just need to go put the food up i also got to do his hair tonight i have to wash my hair again i went and got some um head and shoulders for my scalp but i'm gonna be using it on him too because he gets dry scalp fruit in the winter time so that's what we're doing um the next time i go to the store i am going to get some um I'm also going to get some, um, what is it called? Apple cider vinegar. Journey, get up. Apple cider vinegar and um, baking soda to cleanse my locks. That's what I'm going to do next. Um, I want to go get my hair done. Um, however, I don't know if that might happen. So I might end up doing my own twist. Um and sit on the dryer and, and do that because I'm tired of it looking like this and I don't know if I'm gonna really have time to really go get my hair done, trying to save some coins. Um. So yeah, that's basically what I got going on, but knowing my husband, he probably ain't gonna let me do my own hair. So um, we're gonna figure something out. I just had to come talk to y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog from yesterday. Um, you guys probably won't see a vlog again until Tuesday because I really want to have some more stuff to record. But again, like I said, I may I'll go put it up. I may. Um, so yeah, next clip. 
probably is going to be me talking about um, what I had watched on YouTube the other day. Um, and I had a clip in there. So I'm also going to share that with you. So it might be up today. Um, or I might just save that video for like a video by itself. But I also wanted to talk to you guys um, about I got a reading done yesterday. And like when I say everything been on point, it's been on point with the reading. So I'm going to meditate and have routines to just show y'all how I meditate. I had a little breakdown yesterday um, because I'm feeling overwhelmed, the feelings. Um, and I may come out and talk about it um, when I feel ready to talk about it. Um, I don't want to talk about it too prematurely and... I haven't really fully discussed with the parties involved, so I may wait for that. Um, and then, of course, me and Bay is going to record a video today. Um, I don't know. I may record the video and then while before I do his hair and then show y'all at the end of the video the after of his hair because we really have a lot of stuff to do and I really, really want to get this video up for you guys for from us because i've been trying to get him to do this video forever and ever um so we'll do that um but y'all stay tuned thank you guys so much for watching be blessed and i hope you guys enjoy the reading that i received because i'm posting it um and it is screen recorded so it just it just gave me a lot of positive messages um, and what I need to do moving forward with my meditation and my divine calling. So I was really excited about doing this and I love that I get to share this with you guys. This is my first ever reading and I wouldn't mind doing it again. So um, here is my experience. Of course, like, rate, comment, subscribe. Comment down below how you guys felt about my reading um because it was powerful it was moving to me this person did not know anything about my situation that i had going on and was right on point um so see you guys in the next vlog until next time it's we are the gary's and i hope you guys love the um reading tonight i'm okay but i've been feeling sorrow What that song say? Um, sometimes it. Mm, 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 and it makes me lose control. What did it say? So just rain down on me. Let your love just fly on me. I'm oh, yeah, John Burkett, grandson. <gasps> Alright. Oh, well, I feel like that's talking about abundance. And when I flip that, and when I flip that car, that deck over, I seen you've been going through a hard, troubling time and feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. But just know that you almost near the end. Cause look, you see that village right there in the background, baby? You're close to your goal. You're definitely close to your goal. <laughs> You're definitely well, close to your goal. Boy, what do you say? Which one? Okay, oh yeah. Wait a little word on your shoulder. Oh yeah. When you feel it, well, I forgot what it is. When you feeling all alone, you gotta manage. Just hold on. I forgot the song though. Alright. Fear God's angels and ancestors. Of the highest white light. Assist me with the messages for the most positive and accurate messages for Miss Jamika, please and thanks. Assist me with helping her gain some clarity and guidance right now at a time. Okay. Um, we're going to take that. Let's see. This better be 10 cards. If it's more than 10 cards, baby, I don't believe. No. Okay. So I definitely, your card started off with. Hmm.
Okay, Gemini showing up in your reading. Uh, yeah, you definitely have been having some emotional, mental, excuse me, confusion. I do see a brand new beginning because the fool is in the upright. It may have been from something from the past um, where you may not have been able to see things in a better light because the hangman would usually, if it's in the right uh, upright position, they would be seeing things in a different perspective, but it's, it's in the um, reverse. Um, I do see that you are staring things into calmer waters and you are definitely a manifester as well with this magician card right here. Whatever you want, you can attain. And listen, actually, I see that because family-wise, this is definitely talking about family. The Ten of Cups, the emotional stability, the happiness, the love. Look, it's a whole family. There was heartbreak. There was some emotional pain, some sadness, some grief, you know, that you were going through. But I feel that you had a fresh new beginning. A fresh new beginning with something like brand new. Start over is, is, is what it is. Like, let's start over and let's give love a try. That's what I heard by Beyonce. What did that song say? What did it say? Maybe we can start all over and give them another try. Yeah, I feel like this was a situation with someone. Knight of Pentacles is what I'm seeing. I don't see a king here. I'm not even being funny. I'm, I'm being honest. I don't see king. I see knight. I see knight. To be honest with you, I see with this new start, I mean, I feel that the reason why you are having this, but I feel like you may have been ready for this start because you really want this to work, but I feel like this person is not all the way developed because not only are they a knight of pentacles but they're in the reverse you this was your card this new beginning right but this person is in the reverse like i said i'm sorry y'all i gotta read it how it comes this person in the reverse and then it's crazy because the two extra cards that popped out is a past situation right but that's in the reverse and this is talking about moving to a new for moving forward this would be moving forward transformation it's not happening right it's not happening right now. I'm sorry. And that's what's leaving you feeling these energies. Feeling these energies. Let me tell you, I, like I said, I'm sorry. I got to give it how it comes. That don't mean that it can't come if that's what you're waiting for, if that's what you manifest. Because I do see that you're manifesting your happiness. I do see you manifesting your happiness. So if that's what you're manifesting, I mean... It could come, but I, I feel like, again, when this card right here is saying that you're not seeing something in a, in a new way, that's what's causing you this emotional turmoil. That's what's causing you to feel this way. Okay? Oh, I just heard, but if it is in love, why do I feel this way? Why does she still bless you on my mind? Well, if it is in love, why do I feel so bad? Makes me feel so sad inside. But if it is in love. Okay. If it ain't love, then why why would you feel that way, right? That's what you get that's what you feel. Like. If it's not love. Oh, and I heard um and I heard Jennifer Hudson. I ain't heard this song in a long time, so I know this talk about you. That um I'm selfish as I don't. Want to see you with nobody, I love him so. He's everything I want, he listens to me, cares for me. So I truly believe God sent me an angel from above. Did I tell you? That's going to love me for life, I told you. That's what you manifested. God sent me an angel. Oh, damn, all of these songs started to pop in my head for you. It's been five months. Sent you in the way You're left without a word And nothing to say When I was the one Who gave you my heart and soul But it wasn't good enough for you No So I asked God 
God sent me an angel from the heavens above. Send me an angel to heal my broken heart from being in love. Cause all I do is cry. God sent me an angel to wipe them tears from my eyes. Yeah, definitely. She said, and I know I might sound crazy, but after all that, I still loved you. You want to come back in my life, but now it's something that I have to do. I have to tell the one that I once adored that they can't have my love no more. My heart can't take no more lies, and my eyes are all out of cries. So, God, oh. Mm. All right, bet. One, two, three, six. Twelve, thirty-six. All right. Instinct. I trust that my instincts are correct and I let my and I let my natural intuitive feelings guide me forward. I will know what I need to do and oh excuse me. And how to respond with wisdom to situations that come my way. I have an innate desire to be of service in life. As I tap into this feeling, I will know what service I am called to do. I believe in myself. Second, second chakra, sacral chakra, sensuality. I encourage myself to express my sensuality and emotions creatively using all my faculties, including touch, voice, and actions, and creative abilities such as art, craft, music, acting, cooking, gardening, and writing. I practice being aware of and enjoying my senses being nourished and stimulated by the natural world, such as by landscapes, people, weather, animals, aromas, and sounds. Third chakra, oneness and unity. Oh, she's talking about I am tearing up. Who cutting the onions? Ah, I love you. Oh, my God. I accept the oneness of all life, and I know I am one with all others on this journey. I support them and let them support me. I am brave and not afraid to ask for assistance. I allow myself to empathize and sympathize with others, and I choose to see the love in all around me. I see everything as a part of my own life, and I accept others for who they are. I find common ground with others rather than differences, as this brings harmony into my life and into theirs. Sixth chakra, third eye chakra, imagination. I use my imagination as I create and pursue my dreams and wishes. I ask myself, what do I want? Manifestation, that magician card, I'm telling you. My thoughts create my reality at the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual levels. I told you, manifestation, magician. I use this power to create harmonious relationships between all these levels. I imagine the life I would like to have, and I encourage my thoughts to be truthful, wise, and discerning. In the quietness of meditation, I see and hear the truth. You said Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Fear God's angels and ancestors give us that clarity and motivation. Give us some guidance to assist and continue to help us give someone some guide, some clarity on the things that they need to know. Help someone out. Help Miss Jamika out to make some decisions right now in her life that will make her go into a better positive uh, way. Make her move and transition okay transition to where exactly she needs to be that manifesting time frame because baby see look i'm telling you that meditation baby it works people don't know that meditation does wonders that's why why you think i got it in my background like that why you think i always do my readings with that meditation now because i'm telling you it makes your intuition stronger Yeah, a lot of yours was about pinnacles. So that's definitely Taurus Virgo. Yeah, pinnacles. Definitely Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy in your reading too. And then Gemini Libra Aquarius or Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um. Oh. 
Yeah, you definitely got to surrender to the divine. And look, the card right here just popped out about meditation. Take time to breathe out. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love that. Listen, when if I if I if y'all on here say that I hit it on the head, make sure you leave me a, a review in that inbox too. So when it's time to screenshot, uh, I could definitely let the reviews show. But I'm gonna keep on going with these cards until we get Gemini. Oh, oh. Yeah, you know. Virgo definitely popped up twice in this, I think. And Pisces right there. Let's see. But Gemini ain't get here yet. Libra. Where when outcome? Come on, Gemini, where you at? Where are you, Gemini? Gemini, wherefore art thou? Wherefore art thou, Gemini? Capricorn. Wherefore art thou, Gemini? Wherefore art thou, Gemini? Let it fly. Okay. Gemini, let it fly. Yes, listen, because I'm telling you. I told you it'd be intuitive, baby. That's how I go. You ain't even got to tell me. To, my intuition tell me at all. Your commitment is being tested. Definitely. Oh. Hold on. Damn, Gemini, you getting all the cards in the deck. I'm almost out of motherfucking cards, but I'm going to read them all as they're coming, too, because all of it is sent as a message for you, baby. Now you had me on my knees, begging God, please, to send you back to me. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, and you made me feel like I could not breathe. And I, all I wanted to do is feel your touch, and you give me all my love. love but you took my life for granted, all my love and all, but you can't have it, oh God. Lord, Gemini, you almost at the at the end of the deck with it, baby. We we're trying to tell you something big. Yes, literally, because I'm talking about this almost the whole goddamn Moonology deck, and that still means something. Like, I'm going to read every last one of these cards. Damn. Gemini, baby. See, y'all, y'all, That I told you, Gemini is let it fly. Y'all be having a... That's because I got them fucking two sides. Lord. It's a lot that Gemini don't show the world, baby. Do these got Gemini in it? Is Gemini in this? No, baby. Gemini ain't in there. And it didn't even... Look. Lord. Gemini. Lord, Gemini. Lord, look. I, I mean, I'm literally, like, waiting for you, baby. I'm waiting for you. Like I said, I got to stay true to my word. I can't stop until your Gemini come out. I got to continue... There you go. <laughs> the answers you need are coming. Wow. Yeah, Gemini, all of these cards is for you. Look. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Damn, Gemini. Oh. You got the whole motherfucking deck, baby. Okay. <clears throat> you are very close to achieving your goal. Ooh, I'm a little high. Conclusions are within reach. A new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. A time to give rather than take, new moon in Virgo. Be bold and make the first move. Don't let pride get in your way, new full moon in Leo. Take time to breathe out, meditate. Surrender to the divine, because they definitely got it at all times. You are good enough, full moon in Virgo. 
a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer, balanced spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces, a win-win outcome is in forecast, full moon in Libra, the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn, meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces, believe in the impossible, your commitment is being tested. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. And the answers you need are coming in and off your reading with the full moon in Gemini. And let's get your white lights. Spirit guys, angels and ancestors of the highest white light. Give us some clarity and guidance cards to assist Miss Jamika. There you go. One more. Give us some clarity and guidance cards to assist Miss Jamika. There we go. Another day is gone. I'm telling you. A positive twist of fate and a windfall of good fortune are destined for you. Brightness and hope will alleviate negativity and give you the strength to find your way through a time of adversity or challenge. Finally, you will experience peace, love, and deep connection with your true self and the, and the universe. Good things are on their way to you. Let's see. As you embrace your inner essence, you will be at peace with who you are, including your vulnerability, and no longer see the need to conform to social ideals which have no true resonance for your heart. You are encouraged to trust your intuitive recognition of which environments and relationships harmonize well with you, supporting your spiritual growth and well-being on all levels. You have the innate capacity to manifest, relax, and you shall attract all you need. Sierra, are you next to? I see you still over here. And 35. That's who I want to hear. Let's see. Taking responsibility for your experiences empowers you. You are going to resolve an issue through spiritual inspiration and higher guidance. You will rise up in full connection to your spirit and access a wealth of divine treasure. That which has brought darkness into your world shall submit to the light and be transformed. Have courage and commitment to your awakening. For you are a precious being and can go far on the spiritual path this lifetime. And that's pretty. Like and I that's said. So uh, uh, uh. I mean, look. Moonology won't play with you, look. You might as well say you got the day. Basically, look, you split that motherfucker in half. And it's crazy because, look, Geminis are what? Two sides, right? Swear these don't look like the equal amount of cards. Definitely do. These was your cards. This is the rest of the day. 